welcome learners. Today we will discuss the answers to the practice questions that was given as a part of week 1 modules. Let's get started. The first question is writing symbols or alphabets are different from speech sounds. Well, it's a true or false question. Uh, the right answer is true. Why? Uh, let me substantiate that through an example. Let's take the word apple. What's the first sound? It's a uh, and not a as what the alphabet represents. I hope I made this point clear. Now let's get to the second question. There are dash alphabets in English. It's a fill in the blanks question. What's the answer to that? Count the number of alphabets from A to Z. So there are 26 alphabets. But what needs to be noted here is that you should not mistake alphabets with oral sounds. Oral sounds are divided into vowels and consonant sounds. Whereas writing system uses alphabets and alphabets are different from the oral sounds that is vowel and consonant sounds. So do not count the number of vowel and consonant sounds but instead you need to count the number of alphabets which are symbols of writing system. So there are a total of 26 alphabets in English. The next question is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H is represented in uppercase letters. What are uppercase letters? The uppercase letters denote capital letters whereas lowercase letters denote small letters. So what is given here? You just see that only alphabet A is given in uppercase whereas all other alphabets that is B, C, D, E, F, G, H is represented in small letters. So we may say um, that the given statement is false because it's a mix of both uppercase and lowercase letters. The next question is, there are two kinds of sounds, vowel and consonant sounds. We have already discussed this while discussing the second question. Oral sounds are of two types, vowels and consonants. So the statement is true. The exhaling flow of air is responsible for the production of speech sounds. That's the fifth question. The statement is true because we know that airflow leads to the production of sounds. However, what is crucial here is that it's exhaling flow of air with minimal or uh, maximum constriction that produces sounds. I hope I made all the points clear to you and you don't have any uh, confusions about it. If you have, please uh, put your queries in the discussion forum. I'll be more than happy to clear all your queries.